there's a procedure on getting the battery out of a Lightning. A couple things you have to do first to get it ready, and then a couple things you have to do during. It's not that difficult. We're going to dive in. This is how you de-energize the high voltage. First thing you're supposed to do is you're using the FDRS, de-energize the uh, high voltage. Basically, you're gonna go in and ensure that it's that it's off. Step one is to pull that. The tab must be depressed, depress the connector, find a suitable tool. I usually use a Allen wrench like they're showing or a screw. Then you go in and use FDRS or you can use Forescan to look at the high voltage system, verify it has been de-energized. That's kind of important because if it's, you're still energized and you disconnect those, it could be a little sparky. You want to make sure that these trouble codes are present. A scan tool capable of performing a tel cell test on the BECM is required. Release the connector. And then you have to go in and enable the emergency tow feature to allow the vehicle to remain in neutral. Let's get in the truck. Let's go into the owner's manual. Put your vehicle into accessory mode. Apply the parking brake. Access the vehicle drawer on the touch screen, press settings, press vehicle, press and hold to initialize, initializing, place vehicle in neutral. We're going to turn it back off. We're going to get out of the truck and disconnect the negative battery table. If you don't disconnect the negative battery table after putting it in emergency tow, the, the uh, differential will lock after a certain amount of time and it will put it back into to park. We need to be able to roll this frame around after we get this battery out. This frame is gonna be without a body or any electronics hooked to it, so we need to keep it in neutral. And we're gonna disconnect both cables just because we're taking everything loose anyway. All right, truck should be in neutral. Certainly does not wanna move. I don't think I did something right, so let's hook this back up. Okay, so we didn't turn the parking brake off. That was the biggest problem. All right, so let's do this again. Okay, the brake is off. Now the truck should move. And she moves. The next is we gotta get the truck balanced back and forth on the position where it's gonna it's gonna sit there good on the rack. So you have to think about the center of gravity on this vehicle is different when you pull the battery out. It's gonna be a little heavy at the rear when we first put it on the rack, a little more heavy on the front after, but this rack's a 9,000 pound rack, 7,000 pound truck. We won't have any, tr any trouble. So we need to get the high voltage battery disconnected. We're gonna slip back the plastic reassurance clip. We're gonna depress the center of this pull backwards, which will expose that contactor. And we're gonna put that screw in there. That'll keep that contactor from being able to come shut. So from here, anytime I'm working on something on the lift, so I always put the uh, the hard hat on, and yes, it's camouflage, because it tells me I've got the right one on. So I hit my head on something underneath there, I don't get this big gash, I don't get shut down for the rest of the day. For any of you wondering how to lift the lightning, you put the, uh, the, the lift arm, just inside, we're just clearing by a little bit here, inside the battery, and that should let the battery drop straight down. So we're gonna check all four sides on the front. There's plenty of room for this entire battery mount to come down and clear. There's bolts here, 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 and here that'll allow this battery to drop down. We have one ground wire here we're taking loose. Remove the, uh, start talking about removing this panel. The one at the back you're gonna have to remove as well. Those are not 13s, they look like 18s. So I don't normally like doing that, but sorry, impact. I don't wanna get hit in the head by this. What's next? So to take these side panels off. Just a cover. Really don't know what the point of this. It must be an aerodynamics thing because it doesn't support anything or do anything. Next, we're gonna take that ground wire loose in the back. Next, two coolant lines on the front. Okay, these, you just twist. And there is coolant in the battery. Woo! So, we are gonna need to get a bucket. Not much in it, but enough to splash me. 
slide that back on there just for a minute so I can go find a rubber cap. My bolt bins don't look like traditional bolt bins. They are full of things that you would use that you can find and that's what we're looking for right now. That's a, that's a possibility right there. Bolt tubing. Not a whole lot of cooling in it because we already took the other side loose. So next, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bolts to the high voltage battery bracket cable that we need to take out next. Next step, the high voltage battery cables. Now on a Mach-E, there's a specific arrangement that you're supposed to do to do this. On a Lightning, there doesn't appear to be. Disconnect the connectors, and then disconnect the retainers from the battery cable bracket, and then you're supposed to put the lift under it. We're gonna use this table. This table is super heavy. Um, you don't wanna do this with saw horses. It's gonna be a little low, but it's gonna be fine for moving it out from underneath the truck once we get the battery disconnected. I checked offline for the uh, voltage on these, and everything shows dead. So we've already retaken the clip loose. There's the first one. So these slide to the right. These little ret retention clips. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide them all. These pull down, pull down. And that's gonna pull the battery loose. There it is. Okay, so there is nothing left. This battery should come straight down out of this truck at this point. We have to find the center of gravity on this battery. What we're gonna do is we're gonna let this truck down on this table. There's more modules on the top back half there's your front so we're going to air to the side of the back it doesn't i don't know if it's marked let's look and see if it's got a mark for a cg it doesn't say where the center center is on this battery but i know it goes from right here and you can see there's modules up here on the top and those top modules they go to right here so there's quite a bit more back here than there is up there so we're going to air to the back side when we drop this down remove the bolts one two three four five six seven eight and then saying let it down. So Better get a flashlight and make sure we don't have anything hanging up anywhere. I want to break something. $45,000 battery. I think that's it. The battery is out. That was not hard. There were two lines, four or five clips, some bolts. If you got a lift, it's not that bad to do. Battery's out of the lightning. All right, let's take a look underneath the lightning without a battery. So you can see it's a massive, massive frame. These are well built. They're protected. This, this main frame is protecting that battery and giving all the structure to the truck. So my frame guy said there wasn't a cross member that he was concerned about, but there is a cross member. It's right here. Uh, we just couldn't see it. So this frame is bent. And I would say looking at it, it's bent right here. I don't know if you can see that. There's a bend right here. And it's got this whole front kicked over. Now we get to have the fun of taking all this apart, switching everything over. This whole drive motor. Looks like it's hanging in there. Yep, floor jack under the bottom, bolt here, bolt here. So the next step is pull the cab. The cab comes off just about as easy as the frame. If you're wanting to know if the frame is bent on an F-150 or a Lightning, you can crawl underneath of it and look at these cab bolts. If this gap is here, this is gonna tell you if it's bent or not, because it's gonna be moved. Surprisingly easy, not difficult at all. So now we're gonna work on getting the, uh, getting the cab off the truck. 